Also in the news, U.S. authorities busted a ring of alleged computer hackers connected to a malicious software known as Black Shades. This computer program enabled hackers to secretly take over half a million computers worldwide, all without the user's knowledge. Prosecutors charged five individuals, accusing them in court doc documents of distributing the software to thousands of cyber criminals around the world, some for the low price of 40 American dollars. After installing the program on a victim's computer, the hacker could access and view documents, photographs, steal passwords, and activate the vi victim's web camera. Several thousand us users had purchased the malicious software. Officials have so far arrested more than 90 people in 19 countries. With us now live from San Antonio, Texas, is someone who not only tracks down malicious software like Black Shades, but then figures out how to stop it. Adam, Adam Kujawa is, is what's known as a malware intelligence analyst and a certified ethical hacker. Adam, welcome to Arise America. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Dave. Hey, just from what I'm reading about this today, it, it really is uh, uh, very concerning. How malicious is this malware? And then just tell us just by definition what malware is. Well, malware is malicious software, and it basically encompasses things like viruses or spyware, trojans, uh, anything that can do damage to your computer or steal your personal information. So how the, the people whose computers were infected with this malware, how did this software get onto their computer? Uh, there's various methods. It could be through like an email attachment um, or through uh, a drive-by exploit, such as visiting a, a website with malicious code on it. Uh, they could have also just downloaded software that, they, that wasn't very trusted and therefore uh, actually had the malware attached to it and installed when they tried to install the application. So it would take something more than just opening an email. You'd have to actually take an action to activate the software. Yes, but there's a lot of different ways that um, malicious actors and the bad guys can actually fool a user into opening something they believe is, is actually legitimate when it turns out to be malicious. Part of the way this works is uh, something called RAT, which is an acronym R-A-T, Remote Access Tool. Explain to us what that is, and can you just give us a, a full picture of how this software uh, can be used on someone's computer? Absolutely. Um, basically what it does is that it installs on the victim system um, completely without the knowledge of the, of the user and then allows the, the bad guy or the remote control uh, hacker the ability to completely control the system. Um, they can look through your webcam, they can listen to your mic, uh, they, can, they can read everything that you type, they can uh, steal your passwords, watch whatever's on your screen, control your screen control all your programs, uh, modify and delete your files. Mm. How can a person know it's whether or not access. this software is on their computer? How can you tell? Uh, the biggest indicator is basically if you start seeing some really weird stuff going on on your desktop. For instance, if your mouse cursor starts moving on its own, um, if you see a, a pop-up box where the hacker actually announces that they are there, but that doesn't happen as often, um, if the webcam light on your webcam turns on without you actually trying to do that, uh, if, if files become encrypted uh, without you actually doing that yourself, things like that, things that uh, your computer pretty much just seems to be running on its own and doing whatever it wants. And once the software is already on a person's computer, what can they do about uh, uninstalling it or getting rid of it? Well, a lot of this stuff does its best to hide. Um, however, most users can just install an antivirus software or anti-malware software uh, in addition with other, other protection means, but basically just running a scan will usually get rid of it. And is this Black Shades um, unique in any particular way, Adam? It's unique in its ability to be so user-friendly to people who aren't as uh, tech-savvy as, as your run-of-the-mill hackers. Um, it's easy to use, easy to install, and therefore it's been abused a lot by, by people that, that basically just want to have fun with it and, and mess around with people. I understand you told our producer that uh, kids are part of some of the biggest users of this software. Is that really true? That's absolutely true. The, the biggest uh, demographic in the cybercrime uh, employment market, I guess, would be anyone between the years of uh, about 14 and 23. It's... Uh, they have the time on their hands to actually learn this stuff, and, and even still, it's pretty easy for, for anyone of, of that generation to go around and, and look for the tools they need. 
That's so crazy. So more than 90 people have been arrested as we reported in 19 countries. That means that, does that mean we can stop worrying about sh black shades? Absolutely not. Uh, black shades itself might have actually gone down in use because of what happened with these raids. However, there's multiple types of software that do the exact same thing already still available out there and the people who created it are completely unknown. So it may be a matter of time before those get taken down as well, but there will always be someone else ready to step up and take over the market. Bottom line is always have your uh, antivirus software updated. <laughs> Adam exactly. Kujawa, thank you so much. We appreciate the great information. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And this is Arise America.